U.S. corn crop improved over the last week. According to the USDA's latest progress report, three-fourths is rated good to excellent, three points better than the previous week. The nation's top three growers have placed sizable chunks in the best two categories, 80% in Iowa, 76% in Illinois, and 78% here in Nebraska. For those in the Cornhusker state, Nebraska Extension plant pathologist Tamara Jackson Zim says this is a timely point to sample for nematodes. We talked with Tamara recently to learn more about how nematodes can impact corn plants. We have a lot of different species of nematodes in the soil that can affect corn and so most of these are ones that are going to feed on the roots in one area or another and they can cause extensive damage depending on the species you have and how many there are. When is a good time to sample during the season? Well, early in the season gives you an opportunity to look for areas that might be stunted or where you may have had problems in the past and to go out and relocate them. One of the problems is though that this is the only time of year you should really be sampling sandy fields because this time of year a lot of those nematodes may begin to go further deeper into the soil and may be out of reach of traditional soil probes. And so sample sandy fields now before we get to about V6 or the six leaf stage. Most other soil textures you can sample uh, now or late in the season after harvest. How do you sample? So to get the best sample, you're probably going to want to use a soil probe and collect cores of soil from within the row, making sure that you're penetrating down through the root zone. That's where the nematodes are going to be. You're going to need to collect two cups or more of soil and put them in a plastic bag. But early in the season, we also recommend if you've got symptomatic samples, dig those up very carefully too. Shake the soil loose and put them in a separate bag and send those to the diagnostic lab as well. And that'll give the nematologist or diagnosticians a chance to look for symptoms and other evidence. Important to keep that sample cool too? It is, and so I, I would treat these nematode samples like they're alive because these nematodes are alive and, and we need them alive in the clinic to get a successful extraction. So we recommend that people, if possible, to refrigerate these samples, making sure not to let them get too hot or accidentally freeze. And so uh, shipping them as quickly as possible, early in the week is the best, and not handling them really roughly. You can actually accidentally burst many of those nematodes in the sample. If you find out from that sample that there are nematodes, what do you do? So if you find out you have a nematode problem, now you will certainly find nematodes in, in every sample because there are nematodes in every field. There's both beneficial nematodes, but we're concerned about the plant pathogens. If you find out from the lab that you've got a number that's too high, it's too late this year to try to manage them. But this would be for planning for future years when you do come back to corn. And so we do have some seed treatment nematicides available. And there's at least one or two uh, in furrow products that are still available as well. Crop rotation effective? Definitely. I would definitely want to use crop rotation. Some nematodes can feed on multiple crops, but often corn is, is a favored host. And so uh, corn may allow them to build up to higher numbers. So I would definitely consider crop rotation if that's practical for you. How often should you sample, Tamara? If you planted corn in this field two years ago and sampled, then do you need to do it again? You know, I think that depends on the results that you've gotten and whether you've begun to see anything strange in the field you can't explain with other methods. And so if you've begun to see symptoms that you can't explain because of nutrient analysis or any other problems, I definitely would consider collecting a sample. The symptoms that nematodes cause can mimic a lot of other things and it might throw people off. And so uh, I would also emphasize too that in a year like we're having, where we're having a lot of wet conditions, it might mask some of the symptoms that you might have seen in the past. And so just know the nematodes are still there, but that with ample moisture, plants can often overcome some of that damage. On the Market Journal website, we'll link to more resources on submitting samples to UNL's Plant and Pest Diagnostic Clinic.